Hey guys, this is KSP with Tape, and today you join me for one of my minimum part challenges. This is kind of upping the ante from the last one where I used four parts to go to Gilly. I'm going to use four parts to go into Stella, so yes, this is my four-part rocket. Obviously, it has to be commanded by Jebediah Kerman. No one else could carry out this dangerous voyage, but he's uh, well-equipped. Um, yeah, so this, um, if you haven't seen the last episode, uh, the last episode, I guess just the last video is not really an episodic series, but um, yeah, the, the main stage is... Uh, the NASA liquid fuel booster, which is two engines and a fuel tank all in one, which is, um, well, it makes uh, one part first stage quite easily. Uh, then you've got a nuclear engine, um, the standard fuel tank, and a little lander can. Uh, it doesn't have a decoupler, it just uses the nuclear engine to burn through the booster. But anyway, it's probably about time that we sped this up, since an interstellar mission takes a little while. Um, yeah, this will be largely unedited. I have cut out a few bits. Obviously, it's going to be sped up and things, and this is all post-commentary. But I did cut out, like, a few maneuvery things, but you can, uh, you can see that it was all legitimate. And it's, it's just because it's, you get so much Delta V from this, and it's not that difficult. And it's not fully realistic, the mod, for going into Stella, so, <laughs> yeah, it did make it a little easier. But anyway, oh, um, we're out of the booster, and now we're just using the, um, <clears throat> nuclear engine, and because... It's got a little less thrust than I'd like. I'm having to kind of l lose a lot of fuel to, um, well, lose a lot of delta V to gravity, as I have to burn up to stop myself, uh, burn upwards, not burn up, that's something else, um, to stop myself falling back to Kerbin and smashing into the ocean and having to be rescued, or probably just being dead. Um, yeah, this is a bit of a long shot mission, and I would like to refine it, because some of the things don't go perfectly, but I think this is, uh, it's always just fun to kind of mess around with, like, as few parts as possible doing something ridiculous. One second, I just need to cough. <coughs> yeah, I'm still a little, a little, well, not ill. I don't know. I just seem to have a persistent cough. Um, but anyway, we are almost in orbit, and it hasn't been too, uh, too inefficient, and it looks like we've burned a lot of fuel, but that also means we've ditched a lot of mass, so we probably haven't got rid of too much Delta V. Um... And this does just have loads, because the nuclear engine attached to something relatively light is basically just the best way to go anywhere. Unless you're patient and can use ion drives, which I am, so sometimes I, uh, I would have used, like, maybe an ion drive thing, but, uh, that would have been more than four parts. I guess if I'd used... no, because it wouldn't have got to orbit, would it? Um, anyway, targeting Dolas, because Dolas is the easier one to go to. Um, well, maybe. I actually haven't really tried going to Corbo. <laughs> So, but yeah, I'm thinking Dolas, because I've got a lot of experience going to Dolas from my uh, current mini-series I'm running, where I uh, where I go into stellar and do interstellary things, so if you're uh, very into this sort of stuff and uh, I'm not a subscriber, you should probably subscribe and stick around for that. Yeah, that's like, yeah, I, I, um, I like to plug my other videos and videos. I really asked people to subscribe, though, that was, uh, that was an anomaly of my, I don't know, I, I, I'm just rambling about stuff now. But anyway, it looks like I've got my burn in place. I kind of checked. That looks roughly efficient. Um, as per usual, I don't put a huge amount of thought into these things. I just kind of do them. Um, kind of like my Gilly one, where I went the wrong way around Eve and had to change the direction of my orbit, and then just a lot of stupid stuff. But anyway, um, this is time to escape the uh, solar system. It does look uh, much faster at four times time accelerate. Oh no, this is at 16 times time accelerate, <clears throat> because it's four times in the game and four times post-production. That's why I'm escaping so fast. It did take a little while in real life, but not that long. Um, I'm just used to longish burns, and it wasn't even that long. Anyway, burn a little more, get myself, get my orbit closer down to the planet, get a close approach so I can work with that. Um, I am going to cut ahead because this took me ages to plan, I just couldn't get my head around it until I uh, did this maneuver which you are seeing now. Um, this was, again, sp uh, still sped up because it just took me ages to get my head around this um, because I was just working with too little Delta V. I was too... Um, uh, I was I was uh, too ambitious with my Delta V budget. So, yeah. Um, but I did, I did get it after a lot of planning. Um, I just cut it out because it was, like, literally, like, ten minutes of me just trying to get this. I almost gave up, actually. Um, but then I thought, no, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go into Stella. Um... Yeah, yeah. so you don't need a giant Saturn V and a big old wormhole and an unrealistic ship that apparently has limited fuel but can slow down from light speed and, a great, and escape the gravity well of a black hole when a planet's falling into it. All you need is four Kerbal parts. Um, although, if the first planet's not correct, then you're probably fucked because it doesn't have a lot of fuel. 
Um, but anyway, we've got ourselves an encounter with um, with Dolas. As you can see, it looks like we, this was this confused me because we've got an encounter, and it looks like as I arrive, I'll just be in orbit. Now, I that has happened to me before with Ike actually, because Ike falls in its orbit. Well, no, it it's yeah, it got an elliptical orbit, and it was falling in its orbit, so I got closer to it. And I got in orbit without any burns, so I'm thinking that's what, what's going to happen, and that'll be uh, that'll be nice because that'll save me some fuel. Because sometimes you don't even have to do a burn to put yourself in orbit; you just have to be at the right velocity. And well, yeah, I was going to say velocity in direction, velocity in compasses direction. Um, but you know, I'm not sure if it'll stay or if it's just a bit of a glitch. Again, this is sped up just a shit ton. Um, annoyingly, this did take me a long time to time warp out of here because I don't have access to the insane time warp that you get in the interstellar void in this mod. But it's okay. You can just leave it warping and then, you know, do whatever, I guess. Um, but anyway, we have now escaped our solar system and it's time to go to Dolas. Uh, yeah, so let's just warp ahead um, for maximum warp. Because that's how you go places. Um, but yeah, it looks like we've got a pretty good, um, pretty good trajectory. Well, a annoyingly off. Um, well, what's the word? It's uh, an annoy. Oh, something exploded. Good. Okay. Um, random explosion there. Often the mod glitches a bit, so I did cut that out. <clears throat> and then there was another glitch here, which is a persistent glitch where. Um, because of the way they move the planets, because they move them not continuously, just like in segments. Um, I accidentally re-encountered the sun, um, which I was just going to turn into a, a four-buster jewel, as you saw I had an encounter there. But then I thought that was, yeah, a bit, um, but that was actually a glitch. And if it's not a glitch, I, I well, I quick load um, just to make sure it's not a glitch. And if it is not a glitch, it'll happen again, and I failed, and that's fine. But yeah, I just wanted to make sure, and it was indeed a glitch, because this mod's a little unstable. Because Well, it's not unstable, it's just the way they move the planets, because it would be pretty ridiculous to move um, three solar systems continuously. It would be too much uh, work. But anyway, although you could probably simplify it with a few equations, but that would probably uh, require going into the source code and changing how things are stored, I guess. Well, surely the planets are stored relative to the star, so... Anyway, I'm getting off topic and it probably makes no sense. Annoyingly, I re-encountered that start of the sun again. You could see it was jumping ahead in segments, and that's why that happened. So, I'm going to try my hardest to dodge that. Um, yeah, it is a little uh, a little annoying. It just kind of gets in the way. And it is um, kind of an annoying glitch that does happen with this mod. So, I keep focusing on the sun, which means it doesn't move along in jumps. Um, but anyway... We have got, we have reached Dolas. Annoyingly, that orbit thing didn't work out, so I'm going to have to do a burn. But yeah, and then to get an encounter with any planets, I guess I'm going to have to do um, a plane change. But I will, uh, I've got time and fuel. Um, oh, no, I have very little fuel. Um, and you're probably thinking now, this is, this is the end of the mission. You're out of fuel. I'm not out of fuel. I've still got like, okay, I can't really see on uh, half resolution, but like 50 units. That's like all the fuel in the world. Um, and I'm just trying to really carefully get myself in orbit. Um, and I want to go to Kaiser, because Kaiser's a cool looking place. Um, I probably won't have enough fuel to do anything there, or even really get particularly close, but I think it could be cool. Um, Alright, so let's let's set up this maneuver. I think just burn north, and then we'll get kind of uh, an encounter right there. That's probably all my fuel though. That's probably the rest of my fuel right there. How much is that? I can't read the numbers, because half resolution post-production! Oh god! Um, but I think it's quite a lot of fuel. Uh, well, quite a lot of Delta V, quite a lot of, de uh, quite a, f a lot of fuel, but, um, I, I, have, I have fuel. I've got, like, 43 units, or 41, whatever that says. Um, so, you know, it'll be fine. I'm trying to make this more efficient so that I can do cool stuff. But, uh, I don't think it's to be. I think I'm gonna get this last burn, and then this is all screwed. But you can see how much I played around, trying to make this a little better. Um, but, yeah, it's pretty much just go there and hope. Um, okay, now the footage is just kind of standing still. Oh, okay, I think I was thinking at this point and I haven't sped through this. Um, but yeah, it's just really a matter of, I don't know, getting as close as possible with this last burn, since this last burn is, yeah, again, my last, last of my fuel. But yeah, this has been pretty impressive, I think. For, well, impressed, I impressed myself is what I meant, given that I went interstellar with just four parts, where I, whereas I've been designing some pretty crazy ion-based contraptions for all my interstellar activities in, um, in my series, because, uh, well, 
I, I want to do more things and just kind of buzz around a bit. I need to go places and orbit places and land on places and all that jazz. Um, all that jazz, yeah. That's how they refer to it at NASA. It's gotta go to Mars and all that jazz. Anyway, it's time for the burn. Jebediah Kerman readies himself to get this as precise as possible so that he, uh, he doesn't screw it up, that he doesn't run out of fuel so that he isn't stuck in interstellar space. Because if he encounters this planet, he'll still be stuck in interstellar space. Actually, no, he'll be stuck in stellar space, um, just not his star. So, yeah, um, if you haven't figured out by now, um, Jebediah Kerman is not going home. Um, if you didn't figure that out, then, well, you clearly haven't been watching the fuel meter, because there is just not the fuel to go home now. It's, it's, yeah, it's pretty dire. So, yeah, let's hope we can complete this burn, take one last look at a beautiful planet before, uh, we're stuck here forever. <laughs> but yeah, there we go, there's, um, oh, there's our encounter. Perfect. And I still have a little bit of fuel left. Perfect. Uh, yeah, um, so, probably not enough to get in orbit around Kaiser, but, um, enough to, I don't know, light up, I don't know, enough to kill yourself so you don't have to starve to death in your tiny capsule. Um, well, that got dark. <laughs> no, just, um, I don't know. Anyway, but it is a pretty tiny capsule. Um, I would not like to be in there for ten years, but he's fine, he's been in cryo sleep, totally. Uh, he's got a window, he's fine. He can kind of stretch his legs, ish. If he contorts himself, lies back in his chair, you know. He's fine. He's got all the living space in the world. Yeah, of course, um, in my real series, I will be building large, giant spacecraft where I, by which I, you know, um, so people have living space and don't go space crazy. Although 10, 11 years in space might, uh, Make you go crazy either way, who knows, because, I mean, you, no matter how big you build a spacecraft, it's still going to be pretty small. Anyway, the last of the fuel has been drained, and we're no closer to, well, we're a little closer to Kaiser, but not that much closer, and you can't even see it! You can't, ooh, great advertisement idea, give me a, you'll hear in a minute. Anyway, we can see the sun, well, Dolas there, but uh, it's too dark for anything, I'll probably brighten that in post-production or something. But, um... Now I'm gonna use Jeb's RCS pack. He still has fuel. Right, so I need to point this, I think, what am I pointing this at? Oh, I'm being dumb. Ah, oh, that was dumb. Um, I should have done my burn, I was gonna burn with his RCS pack and I should have done it back there where, um, well, where it would have had more influence. But instead, I, I, I kind of decided to do it here. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna, yeah, I'll obviously use, I think Jebediah's pack, well, I think all their packs have about 600 meters per second delta V, which should be able to make a change. Um, I didn't really plan this or do it smartly, I just kind of wanted to fly off into the void and, I don't know, be lost like George Clooney in his awful acting career. No, he's a brilliant actor, just did a terrible, terrible movie named Gravity. Um, that was an awful movie. Uh, it had some nice imagery, in fairness, but other than that, it was like, oh, you got no science right. Anyway, so this is where Kaiser is. That's why I pointed the spacecraft in the way I did, so that I can, you know, reference frame it. Although, the thing is, I'm burning right towards Kaiser, because I was incredibly tired at this, uh, at this point. It didn't occur to me that maybe I should get into orbit around Kaiser. I just gunned it. I was like, I'm going. I tried to just lower my perhaps in the dumbest way. I didn't really know what I was doing. Just flying, oh, I just oh, just like fell over, I'm leaning on my desk and I just like slipped. Um, but yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know, I was just messing around, trying to, trying to make a difference to my, to my mission. So yeah, this hasn't been massively successful. I mean, I have gone interstellar. I have gone to another planet interstellar, I just can't see it. Although I think it's one of these specks in the sky. Um, but yeah, if you would like to see Kaiser and flying around it, I have made a, my, my latest um, multiple solar systems video uh, in the series is in fact um, going about going to Kaiser where I go to it, I buzz one of its moons and take a really good look at it. Um, so yeah, uh, if you'd like to see that you can uh, of course go and watch that if you, if you so desire. Um, no, that would be great. But anyway, um, enough plugging my videos and being weird. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so yeah, that is the end of the episode, the end of the video. I have kind of 
Well, I haven't failed. I completed my task. I just really wanted to get close to Kaiser. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been KSP with Tape. I will see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,